Let's turn this place into a scrap pile. So, Battlefront 1 and 2 are getting a remaster bundle, and it's coming to every major platform with the works. This is great news, but there are a few questions and concerns the Battlefront 2 modding community have, such as, how is mod support gonna work, and if there's gonna be a server browser, or are we gonna be limited to, ugh, matchmaking? Well, besides that, we also have a wish list of easily implemented fixes and changes. The first one here is a fixed and implemented Rep Infantry EP2 Officer. Now that means Rep Public Phase 1 Clone Commander. Now, due to a spelling error, the Phase 1 Clone Commander that was supposed to appear on Geonosis was cut from the game. Uh, what can you expect? It had to be a DVD tie-in. Anyways, another bug created by a spelling mistake was a Kiati Mundi English VO. You know, just not playing at all. Apparently, he works just fine in the French version of the game and not the English one. <clears throat> and another bug fix that we'd really like is the Galactic Civil War Space Battles. The award pistol doesn't have a firing sound. It's really odd. We'd like that fixed. Also, we'd like some more sound fixes, such as the native voiceover for Jawas, Tuscans, and Gungans not being, you know, just not working. We'd also like the implementation of jungle and desert rebel soldiers, snipers, and vanguards. These are included in the mod tools and are likely somewhere on the repository Aspear has working for the game. It's an easy implementation, just a few bits of code and pop the textures, pop the textures into the signed file and bam, they're in the game. And they'll even pop up in the default game. Also, the, all the audio fixes from Rayman1103 on ModDB, including the, tus, the Tatooine music fix. Fix the Tatooine music. As well as the AI on Naboo. The nighttime Naboo map. The AI gets stuck in what we call the cringe corner. Well, I just call it that, but it's a cringe corner. Uh, now, some more important bugs such as the Death Star Conquest bug. So in Death Star Conquest mode, Team 1, Republican Empire, lose twice as many units as the Team 2. Back into the implementation department, we'd like the implementation of Urban Rebel textures. The textures exist, but their code was never implemented. We'd also like you to fix the broken jetpack particles for Boba and Jango Fett as well as add in the Super Battle Droid chunks that were strangely present in Battlefront 1, but not in Battlefront 2. You know, it's the small things that really bug you. We'd also like you to fix guns having mismashed muzzle flashes. Now, what I mean by this is the award rifle. The award rifle fires purple lasers, but the muzzle flash is red. The shotgun fires green lasers, but the muzzle flash is also red. Mm. That sort of thing. We'd also like some more accurate tracers for the shotguns. In the base game, the shotgun tracers are way behind the actual bullets it fires. This is for, you know, visual clarity, but I've and some other modders have found ways to not sacrifice the visual clarity with accuracy. We'd also like you to make the rebel smugglers, you know, for the snow levels, into the rebel pilot. And this is really just for Hoth, but it also affects uh, the Renvar maps, you know, which is fine. It's perfectly, you know, doable. We'd also like some more accurate first person arms. Now, the, um, the Keshik Republic sniper does not have his own arms. You can just take the arms from the scout trooper and have them pop up for him. This is also an issue with some other units, but I can't remember which ones. But it's mostly the clone sniper, the episode 3 clone sniper, and the Keshik sniper. Where they don't have uh, the right arms. The clone sniper arm just uses a regular clone trooper arm, which uh, isn't aligned properly. And uh, the same thing goes for the Kashik clone sniper. 
Now, onto some more intensive fixes. We would like the addition of some MagnaGuard chunks. Modders have actually made some MagnaGuard chunks based off of the MagnaGuard model in game. These would be a great addition to the game, you know. You know, it's just a small, again, it's the small things that we really appreciate. We would also like some fleet, snow, jungle, and urban both and spies to be added. Modders have made variants of these and implemented them in their own side mods and maps. They even have, they already have code in the game. You know, just ready for implementation. We would also like some jungle, urban, and fleet versions of the Rebel Smuggler to be added as well. Yeah, because the Rebel Smuggler on Tantiv 4 and the Death Star, he really stands out as, you know, not supposed to be there. Um, also, the LAAT gunship. This is going to be a really intensive fix. This is actually editing a model, not just slapping a few bits of code and textures here and there. But the clone gunship in the campaign mission has seats in its ball turrets, or just a single seat in its ball turret. We would like that seat to be added to both ball turrets for the space maps for Republic and Rebel gunships. We would also like our player models to be, you know, seen when they're in the bubble turrets. Like they were in Battlefront 1. The code exists and can be implemented just fine. Modders have done this before. We would also like two passenger slots in the gunship, you know, just for parity with the other faction's gunships. And now for the really big fixes here. This isn't just cosmetic, these are game-changing fixes. So vehicle physics are tied to the FPS count. Going above 80 FPS makes hover vehicles go nuts. We would like that fixed. We would also like a fix to the third person camera's tilt and position so the player actually suits where his reticle is when in third person. We would also like to fix firing points to be moved from HP fire and not be from bone root or from the eye. We would also like a fix for the CP despawn bug, where if you try and change a unit as CP, sometimes it fully despawns you because the CP you originally spawned at was taken by an enemy. And there's some memory related issues in the game, I'm sure that's probably fixed. And um, increase the, you know, the visual fidelity just a little bit by upping the amounts of units that can be fully rendered on screen without, you know, going into low res mode. And one last point I'd like to make, that the original Battlefront games have been kept alive thanks to the many talented and amazing people that make mods for the game. You know, I barely scratched the surface of what you can do with this game. And I hope, I really do hope that we're going to get some official mod support. You know, if we don't get mod support, then I hope everything on the wish list is at least fulfilled because otherwise it's not going to be worth getting the new compilation. And I really do hope we get official mod support because I don't want this great mod community to die overnight like the Grand Theft Auto community did when Rockstar released those terrible uh, remasters for their three GTAs. But that's really it. You know, I've had a lot of fun making mods. Uh, the next few mods I release are probably going to be my last. Might not be. I might come back eventually. But, yeah, that's about it. I hope uh, the game's great. And I hope uh, we can keep modding it to our heart's content. Well, that's just really a wish list. You know, I'm, I'm pretty sure most of the things on this list won't be implemented. But, you know, it's nice to really think and shoot ideas out there. You know, if Aspire are actually listening or not. You know, they might be listening. They might have looked at some of the Xbox DLC mods for PC and taken a look at those for testing purposes before converting the actual DLC. They might not have. They might, you know, they might be more involved in the modding community than we think. But if you are or not, you know, good luck to you. We hope the game comes out great. And please, oh, please, oh, please don't remove the server browser for matchmaking.
please, we beg you.